it going? I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Are you ready for another making music on GeoGuessr? What a dumb question. Of course you are. Let's get right into it. You know the drill. Five one minute rounds and we select the best one to make our song. I think this is Turkey. I'm not. Yeah, okay. Okul. Yeah, we've got the C and um, yeah, it just looks very Turkish to be honest. So, bam! First one down. Now, what do we have here? Cypress. We've got dot uh, mx. Okay, easy rounds. There we go. Mexico down. Now we've got um, yeah, it's just Japanese. I'm pretty yeah. Okay, we've got the Japanese thing over here, so that makes it Japan. I think Tokyo. No, it is closer to. It is actually in Osaka, in the city center of Osaka as well. Crazy. All right, this one looks quite interesting. I think it is Brazil. Yeah, it should be Brazil. Let's go for Brazil over here and pow, pow, pow. Now for number five. Wow. Okay. This one is interesting. You got a big mountain here at the back. And I think this is... What's the name again? <laughs> What's the name? What's the name? It is Andorra. Pow, pow, pow. We've done it. That was super fast. Now, where are we going to make our song? This is a difficult choice because... There wasn't anything that we actually managed to see, but I think Andorra makes sense. I like Andorra. I've been to Andorra before and it is a beautiful place. Just look around here. I mean, just these mountains, like perfect for, you know, snowboarding season and whatnot. And yeah, the mixture of languages, the mixture of cultures and everything else is just amazing. I feel like we can create something here. Why don't we make our song about Andorra? So I think it is time in record time to Make a story! I think we're gonna have to find something, some type of event that happens here that will help us unlock the potential for this story. Wow, what on earth is that? That is a cool statue. It's a beautiful sunny day in the mountains. It's so funny how many songs we have started in the past, including season one, with it's a sunny day, it's beautiful outside, and we're in the mountains for some reason. I don't know why it always ends up being like this. We need to find something weird, something interesting. Can we spot anyone on the road? Anyone doing anything interesting? Surely there has to be some misfit around here doing something crazy. A tunnel. Wow. This looks so cool. Click, click, clickety click. We'll find something just in a bit for sure, right? Kind of looks like he's got a mask on, right? Chisco with his mask on, out for a stroll. Down the hill he goes. He doesn't know that Ramon is only 50 meters off. I feel like there's some tension that we can create here. These are two strangers, never met before. But the moment Ramon saw Chisco, his foot skid on the floor. On the ground, he fell. And what a brawl ensued. Now, remember the 500-year war with the uh, turtle and Kai in uh, Kung Fu Panda 3? Maybe this is a situation where Ramon and Chisco just go at it for 50 years. It's just a massive, intense fight with punches and rocks falling from the mountain as bah, they're just flying everywhere and it's just explosive and that kind of madness we have to describe this chaos it was a battle that lasted nothing less than 50 years it was chaos it was madness nothing could pull them apart but just gone 50 years a man named Jaime went up the mountain upon his snowboard on the mega massive ramp and in the air he flew through the fog and through the clouds and the city below he saw and he descended till he landed on them both and in that way the brawl had broke and peace restored. Haima saved the land. That cold day in January would become the stuff of law. Something like that. I think it's a start and we can work with this and we can compose something interesting to this, I think. So let's get right to it.
I feel like there's something here. There's something. I don't know. I I like the ambience of it. I feel it's missing a lot of melody. It's missing direction. It's missing everything. <sighs> and it's missing everything now. You know why? Because we are scrapping that whole thing. Hang on. We might make an interesting alternate version of that song that we were composing afterwards because I kind of like the vibe. It could be a lot better, but we need to make a battle song. We need to make something epic, something destructive. Invite the chaos of the madness. So here we are, blank project. Now I did record something. I'm gonna check it out on the phone real quick. It was just an idea, you know, one of those ideas that sometimes I have where I'm just like, blah, blah, blah. I'm in the, in the bathroom or <laughs> about to take a shower or something. And then basically you have to figure out if it makes sense or not, if it's good enough to record. That's what we're gonna check out first. <laughs> What we basically want to do is set down that rhythm and that melody first, and then we'll do this in proper guitar afterwards. 170 BPM, bring it on. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Oh my god, 8-bit madness. I'm gonna take the short route. We're gonna make this a slightly shorter song, but hopefully with a lot of impact, with a lot of punch. Maybe we'll add a bit of melodic. I love this thing so much. We'll figure out what to add next. Ooh, we can add some shakers. We can add a bell. Why not? Let's just add everything in and go out with an absolute bang. All right, let's do this. Tomorrow. <laughs> It is day number three, and not only are we gonna finish the structure today, but we're also gonna add some more electronic instruments to see if we can get some spicy stuff going on. And yeah, I mean, just to have an idea of how the real deal is gonna sound like. So let's jump right in. Okay, okay, I can't hear anymore. All sound is gone. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> now for the structure. Okay, so. All right, we're starting off with what is essentially a bridge. And then we're moving into verse one. And then we are moving into the chorus over here. So the chorus just starts slightly before because it's just offset. Here you can see it's one, just literally just one offset. So chorus, and then after the chorus one, we go back that bridge. Why am I numbering everything? Let's just leave it like that. We don't need to number things. We know very well which verse, which chorus we're in because the lyrics are going to follow next, right? And then we've got verse. Weird. And then solo. This part, yeah, this part, I. it is so hard to tell you what I'm thinking of without the actual instruments. I've just got this idea in my head where it's going to be dum -ba, dum -ba, dum -ba, like Metallica style. But then on top of that, we've got na -na 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 crazy guitar solo but we'll just have to wait and see what comes up i feel like we've done a lot for today we've established the structure we added all these weird instruments we've got the basis for our song and it is time to what is it time for well you'll see tomorrow it's day four and it is time for guitars i think this is also going to be a multi-day process but we'll see how far we get i only have 20 minutes so we have to rush speed run yes We've got something, but we're gonna have to carry on tomorrow. It is day number five and we're carrying on with the guitars.
man. I think we're done with the guitars. I think, I think, I think we're done with the guitars. Finally. It is day number six and we're writing the lyrics today. I am so excited. This song is turning out so weird. It's kind of like pop rap metal. I'm liking the vibe. Like it's so strange. We've never done something quite like this, but I thought we should experiment again. Cross genre, cross genre, cross genre, <laughs> intense, chaotic, fighting music, like epic saga story, intense, pow, pow, pow kind of thing. <laughs> Let's get right into writing these lyrics. I've kind of set it up to be like, I've got the beats here. I've got some example words, some dashes, some dots, some commas. And it's to give me an idea when writing the lyrics of the rhythm. I think for the start, we've got ba, 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 ba. So bish, bash, a little bit of this. No, a little bit of punch, a little bit of pit. <laughs> bish. <laughs> A little bit of kick. And then we repeat this. Verse one. And here I think it's where the rap section is going to begin. And da, 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 da. so down the hill towards the market. Just go on his phone. He takes a stumble and a ball turns around. Then what was the name of the other person? Ramon. Da, 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 da. He doesn't even seem to care. 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. 15 syllables. A fight that no one would expect would last as long as it did. How does it feel to be lying on the floor? That's kind of Ramon taunting him right at the beginning of the fight. It's like, how does it feel to be lying on the floor, you piece of filth? Maybe he didn't even notice that his foot was slightly more extended, right? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. They are now in this battle. So da, 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 Wait, da, 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 huh? This battle lasted nothing less than 50 years. It was chaos. It was madness. Nothing could pull them apart. Fighting with their hearts. Because that rhymes with the part. So yes, I feel that kind of works. The war is over and this town at last can breathe again. Someone might have said something in a way that they didn't exactly mean it. And then the other party, pow, just reacts straight away. And that leads to such a confrontation sometimes, not only in people, but in nations as well, just stepping on each other's toes until it is inevitable. And I feel like sometimes you just have to chill we're done with the lyrics and i think tomorrow we're actually gonna record the vocals and finish the last sections i think we're nearly there i don't think i'm gonna use real bass or real drums for this one just because it's gonna take so much more time and i just want to be done with this <laughs> what day is it today Ooh. no don't fall come on it is day number seven and today we are finishing this thing because we only have the vocals left so let's just jump right into this and finish this thing for once all right a bridge number one and i changed the lyrics a tiny bit i really wanted to do the bish bash because it's kind of like you're in a fight but it doesn't have the same impact tick tock it has that snappiness that bish bash doesn't have and it's about time in the end isn't it it's those 50 years that they spend fighting every second counts let's just change it to that even though it's a bit cliche or whatnot right there we go that Ooh, look at that compression man look at that compression it's so over the top tick tock tick tock a little bit of punch and a little bit of kick down the hill towards the market she's got on his phone he takes a stumble and a fall turns around ramon and his foot out blatantly pretending not to cut checkles this was the moment when it's all begun a fight that no one would expect would last that long how does it feel to be lying on the floor We are done. We are absolutely done. Oh, 
It's almost a meme to say that every single one of these <laughs> ends up taking forever, but I am excited for this one to finally finish this series off. The next season of Making Music on GeoGuessr. Why not do something live? Maybe we'll do a live series where we try to make songs in one hour or some crazy challenge like that. I'm not sure yet what's gonna happen, but ah. Uh, You'll know soon enough. You'll know soon enough because we can't let it be that long as last time between season one and season two. So yes, I'll keep you up to date. And meanwhile, we'll be producing all sorts of other shenanigans. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the song. Click here or in the description. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Catch you next time. <laughs>